Hello, my loves. Right, I am going to today demonstrate to you how I did poly gel using my non dominant hand. Um, yeah, just brace yourself for a shit ton of laughs and me faffing around a lot, but let's just do it. So, I'm preparing my nails with my Navy Pro tools. I have little bits of acrylic still here and there on these. Um, I haven't had anything on my nails for nearly two weeks, but there was little bits here and there, you know what I mean. So I'm using Ethel. Ethel is, well, quite simply the best cuticle tool I've ever had. Although, although there is space for another one called Doris that I haven't tried yet. I'm waiting to get Doris. So, um, but so far, man, she's the best. As you can see, all that non-living tissue that's grown its way down onto the nail surface is being removed. You see how it sticks? So ethyl is shaped to get under there and remove that seal so that you can just either brush it off as it's coming away here or if you need to nip it then you nip it. But Some of it just comes away like that. So I'm going to do that on all nails. I'm sorry if you can see like little bits of chipping and that's old acrylic and rubbish. See, gently pushing that cuticle back. It should not be uncomfortable. Someone said to me the other day that it hurts when they push their cuticles back. Obviously, I don't know what tools you're using, but it shouldn't hurt, it shouldn't be painful at all. I mean, I'm quite cat-handed with my left hand because I'm right-handed, but I still don't hurt myself. So it shouldn't hurt. That's so satisfying. <laughs> it's pornographic. So again, just pushing that back, lifting up that non-living tissue that's sticking to the nail. Some of it seems to come up quite easily, other bits seem a little bit more stubborn. And I always exfoliate with a nail drill bit. Nail drill, oh my god, a cuticle bit. Just to kind of, well, be doubly sure, I suppose. Oh! Guess what? Guess what? I've passed all the written elements of my AET. I just have to have my little mini teaching session assessed. So I am ready to start bookings for one-to-ones. So if you are interested or you would like me to come to an area near you and do a group session, let me know where you are. We'll have a chat and get it all sorted. Or if you want to come to me, then get hold of me. I'll put all my contact details in the description box below. We can work on an individual program for what you want to brush up on skill wise. So as you can see, I'm just exfoliating there using a soft setting on my e-file. Just whizzing it round quickly. I couldn't believe I'd left it so long without doing my nails actually. They were pretty gross. I felt like I had man hands. No offence to men, but your hands are gross. <laughs> Switch the rotation round and go across the opposite side of the nail. It's a tip I learnt from the Glitter Fairy, Miss Lucy, like a year ago. And I thought, yes, this lady makes complete sense. I also got asked, how how do you become confident using your non-dominant hand? I, it's just muscle memory. It's just practice. You can learn it, anything with your non-dominant hand if you practice enough, but it's very, very frustrating. <laughs> and it, it takes a very long time. So I'm using my Helen nippers from Navy Pro now. And I'm just removing anything that's sort of in the way anything that's hanging that's going to potentially cause lifting or just generally not nice. So I just plugged my laptop in. Now I'm being extra careful on this step because I am doing it with my left hand and I'm using a sharp pair of nippers with my left hand. 
so it's a bit cat candid and not very graceful and I'm being very very careful so now I've just got my hard bristle brush with lots of prep spray on it and I'm giving that a good old rub to get any dust out because again if you've got dust on the nail surface when you apply a product you're going to get lifting here we are now hmm <laughs> Oh dear, I can't wait to show this next bit. I've just taken um, my steel file from Glitter Planet UK and I'm push rubbing that up and down the nail just to etch the nail surface. I find it easier to do it this way, especially if I'm using a non-dominant hand. And at the same time, it nudges those cuticles back a little bit more. I'm just scratching up the surface really, just so you've got an, ab an abrasive rough surface for your product to stick to because if it's a smooth surface then you are going to have potential problems with lifting or product just simply not adhering and peeling off if it's a gel we're using poly gel today i can't believe i haven't even mastered it with my dominant hand and i'm picking it up with my non-dominant hand i think i just like to have everyone laugh at my misfortune really <laughs> oh and i've got some new madam glam gel polishes to show you in this video. Oh, now I've got to remember what they're called. I just, a couple of the nails had a little bit of acrylic that was doing my head in, so I just went over again with the file. I think there's some on this thumb as well, I can't remember. They all had a little bit still remaining. Yeah, I can see it, there it is. Get it off. So I'm just trying to file that down a little bit. So once I've done all this, I'm going to get all the dust away again, de-dust everything. Ensure that it's all nice and clean. Just put some prep spray on a lint-free pad and give it a good scrub-a-dub. Lovely. Clean off my armrest. My cheapy armrest. Okay, so I've applied a Kirsty Meek in nail form. I love these. And I'm using my Diamond Nail Supplies um, Acid Primer Pen. I find it a little bit more easy to be precise, especially with my non-dominant hand. So I've got the Madame Glam Poly Gel. I'm going to put the base coat on first. Thank you to those of you who um, informed me of this. And I'm going to queue up for 30 seconds. Leave. I think that's how long I cured it for. I'm pretty sure. Probably best to check though, because I am slightly insane. Then I'm going to apply the poly gel, and here's where the fun starts. Because I'm doing this with my non dominant hand, and I have never used poly gel with my left hand before. I just about use it with my right, to be honest. And I've only done that once. So this was interesting. And I've sped a lot of it up because I faffed around for ages so I've only showed you I believe doing my thumb because I mean you would have just switched off you would have just gone oh my god I am not watching this ridiculous person ever again so yeah this is me faffing around on my thumb with poly gel getting it sticky and just it's it's a lot harder with your non-dominant hand isn't it to um control pressure I find so working with a new system i.e. poly gel that's quite sensitive to pressure I was like totally struggling totally totally struggling but happy to share my struggle with you the plan here is to do um, like a ballerina shape, just a slightly tapered square. Quite a natural shape, quite a natural length. Well, what a nail tech would consider short and a client would consider long, I think is, is what it comes out as. These forms are great. I mean, I was messing about for ages, pressing down on this, and these forms were ever so good. They didn't budge. I mean, not one little bit. They're very, very good. The only thing I will say about these forms 
is I often need to cut the tabs off the bottom to get them in the lamp. That's the only thing, but you can cut them off, it doesn't make any difference. I match them up and then I just snip them down. So yes, please uh, be enthralled by my amazing work with poly gel. So I've cured the first layer and then I'm just putting, putting in some more to build up a little bit more of an apex. So I cured it for 60 seconds and then went in with some more because I learnt my lesson with that, not adding extra poly gel to it because it causes hella problems. And then I'm just blending it down the nail. There we go. And trying to get it all in nicely. I do like the fact that obviously because it's poly gel, it doesn't set. So you can just play around with it. But sometimes that can be a bit of a pain in the bum because you play around with it too much. <laughs> and I'm out, sorry, I went out of shot a little bit, but basically the sides were narrow too, were coming in too much. I needed to make sure I was even with the side wall of my natural nail and not tapering it in crazy because that's bad structurally. And now I've just made a big boo-boo by changing the complete shape of the free edge, as you do. Oh, Madame Gla I'm using the Madame Glam tool as well. It's really good. Really like it. And it's not expensive. Really happy with that. Um, I've got a discount code for Madame Glam. Don't make any money from it. They just said, would your viewers like a discount code? And I assumed you would. So I'll stick all that in the description box. So it's taking shape now, but I'm playing with it probably too much, I think is the case here. Anyway, we're done. There you go. There's all my poly gel done. It's a beautiful colour, this one. And I'm going to give them a good file and a good wipe down. You can see now why I didn't sort of have you hanging around for all of them, because it would have been an hour long video, wouldn't it? Probably two. And these are my new um, colours. I'll put a base coat on first, Madame Glam base coat first, just because I'd rather do that and even out the surface that I'm applying gel to, even though you don't really need to. So that's the base coat, then it'll go in for 30 seconds. This colour is called, it's stunning, it's called Pretty Liar. I love it. I love it. Now, gel polish, non-dominant hand. I mean, it gets messy. I probably put more on the side. There we go, splat. Yeah, beautiful. But that's what little brushes are for, isn't it? Then trying to go in with the detail of brush around the cuticle is interesting. It's a challenge. But hey ho, we did it. We got there. And then I've just dipped my little 3D brush in a little bit of acetone, actually. Probably ruin it, but. So I've cured that for 30 seconds and I'm going in with a second coat. Really, ideally, you would anchor your pinky finger, so lean your pinky finger on something, but I didn't really have this at a good angle because I was filming. Normally, I'd have my hand closer to me. This colour is Darling, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Really pretty colour. Really, really like it. I've just actually ordered a couple of more Madame Glam colours. I think I've ordered some bright ones for summer. It's only like another three, I think. Yeah. Pretty sure. So I will cure that for 30 seconds once I've finished faffing around with it. <laughs> and then I'll go in with a second layer. It's a really nice colour, actually. I'm trying to build my gel polish... Um, collection up. I've ordered my salon furniture from Ikea. Woohoo! So I'm ready to start training almost. Oh, this foil is from Glitterati. It's holographic light pink flex. I love this. I literally just dabbed little bits here and there. Oh, I love it so much. It's really pretty. I accidentally got it on the other finger, but it doesn't matter because I paint over that anyway. <laughs> It's so cool though. Stick a bit more on. Oh, so nice. 
I'd actually quite like a whole nail of that. I really like it, like the effect. So I'm going in again with Pretty Liar, was it I said? Yes, Pretty Liar. This nail's gonna be a um, kind of like a marble nail, but, well, I don't really know what I was doing. I just went with the flow. So it's a bit creative, I guess. It's a whole new ball game for me using, because I don't normally use a lot of gel polish. I normally use a coloured acrylic and I normally don't use poly gel, I normally use acrylic or hard gel. So I'm in all new territory. Ch territory. I'm in all new territory. This beautiful rose gold gel polish is Aphrodite from Nail Kami. I really like this. It's very pretty. And then I'm going in on this other nail and adding some of Darling and then using my detailer brush with some acetone on it to kind of disperse it like a marble nail. And then I'll keep adding that, keep dispersing it, keep adding it, keep dispersing it until I'm happy with the end result. And then once I'm happy, I'll cure it for 30 seconds. So as you can see, that's been cured. And then I'm gonna go in with my Nail Kami black gel paint and do some little, what would be veins going through. Oh no, I'm not using, I'm using Perfect Black from Madame Glam. That's what I'm using, Perfect Black from Madame Glam. And again, disperse that with acetone. There's no hard and fast rule, just play around with it until you've got it the way you want it. And then I'm gonna cure it for 30 seconds in my LED lamp and then press in some of the beautiful Glitterati foil. So I just keep faffing around with it really. <laughs> I didn't have a plan with this set, I just wanted to play with the new things that I've got, like a child. Okay, so I've cured it, and now I'm pressing in some of the foils. I started off pressing little bits, and then I was like, no, I want big bits. Then I pressed in too much and I was like, oh, now it's too much. So I got some isopropyl alcohol on um, my 3D brush in the end and just sort of tried to disperse some of the foil, which did work actually, it thinned it out a bit. I was happy with that. And then once I was happy with everything, oh yeah, I had to do a second coat on the, of the rose gold. And then I went in with Pretty Liar on the thumb. I really like these colours. I know that like gel polish is super quick and easy for infills and stuff like that, but I do like acrylic design as well. So I'll cure that and then do second coat. And then I'm going in with top coat on everything. This is the Madame Glam top coat as well. So shiny, I really like this top coat. I've had it on a few days now and it's still super shiny. I like that rose gold, it's pretty, pretty, pretty. And then that's it. That is the set. Obviously, cure for 60 seconds, apply your cuticle oil to rehydrate that cuticle area, and that's it done. I hope you've enjoyed my faffing around. I'll see you in my next video. Tally bye.